Right, so this video is looking at the discriminant and then on to um, simultaneous equations that involve quadratics. But before we do that, just there's a useful, handy little thing to know, which is that when, you're, when you've got a quadratic, the sum of the roots is always equal to minus b over a. That's helpful when you're trying to check your answers. Um, and now we'll go on to looking at the discriminant. Okay, now remember your quadratic formula. The part of that that changes the answer is that bit just there. So that gives you your two separate answers when you're working these out. So that is the bit that tells you what the, two, the different answers are. The minus b and the 2a at the bottom, they don't change, but that bit there that I've circled does because you can either add it on or you could subtract it. That bit there is referred to as the discriminant or more particularly it's the b squared minus 4ac part of it that's the discriminant. Okay so if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 so in other words it's positive that means that you can square root it and you can get a real answer which means you can then go on and find two real solutions to your equation or two real roots. If the discriminant is equal to zero, that means that when you square root it, you get zero. When you add on zero or take off zero, you don't change it at all. So you will end up with two, one real repeated root. Your two roots will be equal. You won't get two separate roots. Now, if that discriminant is less than zero, that's a negative number. Now, if you tried to square root that in the formula, you would come across problems because you don't know how to square root negative numbers. That comes in later on in, um, in A level next year, but you don't need to worry about that for this year. All we need to know is that when that discriminant is negative, you get no real roots to the equation. Let's have a look at some examples then. So find the nature of the roots of this equation. So we need to look at the discriminant, substituting in those values of B, A and C. When we work that out, we get this 16 minus negative 8, which is positive. So that means that we have two distinct real roots, distinct meaning two separate um, numbers, it's not a repeated root. Okay, next we will look at uh, the roots of this equation are equal and we want to work out what p is. For them to be equal, the discriminant must equal zero. So we substitute in and we solve this equation. Don't forget to do um, plus or minus when you then square root during your equation. So p can be plus or minus 4. Right, on to simultaneous equations, specifically when it involves quadratics. And this means we will have to solve them by substitution. A lot of you will be used to doing it by elimination from IGCSE, but once you involve a quadratic, we're going to need to use substitution. So here's an example. The fact that we've got a squared in there means that we need to use substitution. So first of all, we'll rearrange that top one, equation number one, into something more useful so that we've um, isolated one of those variables, in this case the y. Then we'll substitute it into equation number two, like this. So we've taken out the y in equation number 2, replaced it with the y from equation number 1, and now we can solve that equation as a normal quadratic. Okay, now that we've got it factorised, we can solve that to find out the solutions or the roots of x. Now, don't forget, at this point here, you haven't found all of the solutions yet. You're actually doing a simultaneous equation, so you found both the solutions for x, but don't forget to find the y values as well. So when x is a half, y is three and a half, and when x is one, y is three. And there you've got your full complete set of solutions.